Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you are new here then hello and welcome my name is Alexis and today I wanted to show you my £250 next haul so today I want to show you my £250 next haul um, this haul isn't all about me I have to say I've done a bit of Christmas shopping as well so I needed to buy a few new bits for the wardrobe so I needed some new jeans because some had worn out and I really needed some and I also needed to buy some cardigans as well just for the winter season and I also thought while I was there I'd do a little bit of Christmas shopping now I know you're probably thinking it's still November but my husband has a birthday on the 3rd of December um, so I always go out in November and I buy two lots of presents so I buy him like his Christmas and his birthday combined and then I split it up and I just find this the easiest way to do it and I thought while I was there I'd have a little look and see if there was anything I could get for Ted while I was shopping on the Next website. Um, I found the Next website really good, I found it really easy to use and my clothes arrived in store the next day as well. This isn't an advert for Next but I just wanted to explain why I did it really and how I found the experience as well. So I did it because I really don't have time at the moment to go to the shops but I still needed to get a few bits so that's why I did it and I found the experience really easy and really simple as well so I'll show you what I've brought now so the first thing that I brought um, I have a few things upstairs that I think would look really nice with a black roll neck jumper so I decided to have a look on the next website and see if I could find anything I did buy one last year from Primark but Primark being Primark it was very cheaply made and it keeps riding up as well so I don't really like it so I decided to get myself a half decent one from next and I'm hoping this one will last me it was 18 pounds um, so not cheap but it feels like it's really good quality and I have tried it on I'll insert a clip here for you um, and it fits really well uh, it does feel a bit strange around the neck it is quite a high neck but I think once you get used to it then it'll be fine I'm probably more used to neck like this on my dress than I am high necks but yes I think once I get used to it it'll be fine and it's a ribbed jumper as well so it's got these little ribs in it I can't really think what you call those but yes and it feels really warm when it's on as well so I'm really pleased with this as I mentioned earlier I needed some new jeans because some of my jeans had gone into holes and things I hadn't actually had them for that long but they seem to have just gone into holes so I bought myself some skinny jeans from Next and I really like Next jeans I did have a pair previously um, but I think I can't really remember what happened to them I think the pocket may have come off at the back somehow so yes I didn't wear those again I didn't really want to show my arse to anybody but yeah um, uh, I don't know if anybody else has had that happen to them but two pairs of jeans the pocket is completely ripped away on them on jeans that I've bought but I still like Next jeans I do find them very comfortable and I do find them very roomy as well and these are a skinny pair and I did try them on and I'm going to insert a clip again here they are a bit long but I actually don't mind them too long to be honest with you I can always tuck them up if I'm wearing trainers or shoes but I normally wear boots anyway so especially during winter so I don't mind them being too long um, and they're high waisted so they cover my mum tum us mums must cover our tums ah and yeah and I, they're just really comfy and really easy to wear did I say how much they were they were 24 pounds which I didn't think was too bad for a pair of skinny jeans really and then I also wanted a boot cut pair of jeans I normally always wear skinny jeans but I did think maybe I should buy a boot cut pair of jeans and I bought these dark blue pair um, again I bought them in the longer leg because sometimes I buy jeans and they come halfway up my ankle and then I buy them in the longer leg and they're too long so I may take these back I'm not sure yet 
Um, they were very comfortable though, I have to say. They're high-waisted again, and they're just a really easy pair of jeans to wear, but I might take them back and exchange them for the shorter leg, I think. Um, and these were, again, £24, which I thought was really good for a pair of dark blue jeans. The next item that I brought was this cardigan, and it's by Jules, and I think that's Jules Oliver, so that's Jamie Oliver's wife. She's brought out a clothing range, and she has some shops now as well. When we went to Tenby in Wales, she actually had a shop as well. So it was really nice to see, and I really did like the clothes in there, I have to admit. They are beautiful clothes they're really nice um, and I needed some cardigans because I like to wear t-shirts and jeans and then a cardigan over the top because I find with a cardigan if you go into a hot room you can always take your cardigan off so yeah I do like a cardigan I have to admit um, and this one I saw and I really liked it I really liked the pink detail it has as well embroidered on the inside of the cardigan I know you can't really see it but it does it does flash a little bit of pink every so often when you turn sometimes so I really like that um, it's a really lovely cardigan I've actually noticed it's got a bunny rabbit embroidered on it as well down the bottom I didn't see that before that's really pretty I really like that so it's a bright pink bunny rat bunny rabbit on a navy blue cardigan um, and I really like it um, it was 45 pounds however which is a little bit more than I would probably pay for a cardigan and I'm hoping that it doesn't do what all my cardigans do which is go into holes like under the armpit and stuff I really don't like it when that happens but yes I thought I'd just treat myself it's nearly Christmas and I thought just do it so I did I closed my eyes and I clicked the button so yes I'm really pleased with this as well and then I also brought this black cardigan as well and at first I wasn't too sure about the buttons on this cardigan when I saw it on the internet I really liked it and then I opened it up when I got home from next and um, I wasn't too sure about the buttons but then I put it on and I really liked it again it's really strange but I do I don't know I think it looks a bit 70s this cardigan maybe with these buttons on it but yeah I really like the buttons now I have to say and it's a really comfy cardigan it's a little bit oversized as well so it's a size 10 but it is a little bit oversized but I like that I like that it's oversized because you can wear a tight t-shirt underneath and then put this over the top and the flab rolls don't show do they but anyway yes um so yeah i really like this um this was 20 pounds and i have to confess i bought two of these by mistake but it didn't come up with plus two on the website it actually came up with one and then another one down the bottom so i thought it was a different cardigan but anyway i will have to take that cardigan back and maybe the jeans as well so yes one will be going back but i'm definitely keeping this one and then on to bits for ted and on Christmas Eve, I normally make up a box for Ted. So I put like a Christmas movie in it, a magazine, jumper, pajamas. I just put everything in there and then I let him, I find it in the morning. So it's a little bit of an early Christmas present. And I say it's from Ernie from the North Pole because Ernie always goes home on Christmas Eve because he needs to help Santa get Ted's presents ready. That's what I tell him anyway. So yes, I've bought a few bits for Ted's Christmas Eve box. And this year I got this jumper and I absolutely love it, I have to say. I got it in seven to eight because next year he will be seven. So I thought when it's school, they have a Christmas jumper day. So he can wear this on the Christmas jumper day as well. So he gets a little bit more use out of it really. Um, and this was, oh I can't remember. I think this was about 15 or 16 pounds. And it's just a blue jumper with a snowman on it. And it says up to snow good. And I thought that was very apt for my son because sometimes when he's home, he is up to no good, I trust me. It's quite short of dressing gowns. Um, 
And I, and I do have one upstairs in the wardrobe. We got it from Fat Face last year, and I thought that would be good for a Christmas present, but I'm actually thinking he probably needs it now because the weather's starting to turn colder. And on a Saturday night, he tends to stay up and watch um, a movie with us. So like a kid's movie with us, and he does tend to get a bit chilly. So I thought I'd get him a dressing gown for his Christmas Eve box and I'll give him the one upstairs in the wardrobe. So I got this one and it's a penguin Christmas Eve, uh, penguin dressing gown and it is super cute and I'm sure he's going to absolutely love this. It was 18 pounds however, but it is like a penguin and it is super soft and super cuddly. So I'm sure he's gonna have no trouble wearing this. He's probably gonna wear it over his clothes like mummy does, to be honest with you, when he gets cold in the house. But yes, um, uh, a bit expensive, but I love it, so I couldn't resist. And then for Ted's Christmas Eve box, I brought him these Santa pajamas and they have a little elf on them as well. So they have like a Santa and then an elf dotted about in them as well, which I thought was really cool. And they have matching bottoms as well. I think he's gonna really like this because we have, um, we have an elf come to stay with us for the whole of December called Ernie from the North Pole. So I'm gonna say these are from Ernie just to remember him by for the rest of the year. So yes, matching bottoms and top from next and these were 14 pounds and i'm going to put these in ted's christmas eve box this year so the next items that i brought are things i brought for howard and i just want to say by the way that um i will be showing these products again because i want to do a video for howard's christmas and birthday presents and i also want to do a couple of videos for ted so i want to do his christmas eve box and i also want to do his christmas presents as well so you will see these items again, but on to what I brought for Howard. So I don't know whether to give this to him for Christmas or his birthday, but I saw these on the next website. I actually went looking for them because a couple of years ago I bought him some cufflinks from Next and he really liked them. So I thought I'd go and have a little look again and I found these Star Wars ones. I think this is to do with the new movie, so I'm not 100% sure what it is. It looks like a spaceship to me. Um, so if anybody out there is a Star Wars fan and can tell me what it is please leave a comment below because I have no idea what that is but anyway it says Star Wars on it so I'm hoping that he likes these and they did have Mario ones in there as well so they had a Mario cufflink and a Luigi cufflink which I thought was really cool as well but I decided to get these ones and these were £16 so slightly on the pricey side but still a good present I think for Howard. Then last year Howard asked me for a board game and I bought him the colour game which was a brilliant game so I went and had a little look on the next gifts site and I found this and this is the crystal maze now if you're about the same age as me maybe a bit older and maybe a bit younger you'll probably remember this on television um, and Howard I think really liked this program as well so when I saw it I had to get it um, so it's uh, it's a it's a challenge game I think so on the back it says hello adventurers and welcome to the special edition of the crystal maze which transports you deep inside the ancient realm of the eastern zone Pit your wits against your friends and family with this all new set of skills, physical, mystery and mental challenges designed, replayability in mind so they can be enjoyed again and again. So it's a board game that you can play again and again with your friends and family and it's got challenges in it and I thought this was really good. Uh, so unfortunately I don't think Ted will be able to play this but we go away every year with Howard's old uni friends and we go to a place called Philby. Um, well, Phil, we call it Philby Alternative but it's not. We go to a different house a lot of years. Um, this year I think we're going back to Devon again. So yes, yeah, so I thought this would be a good one to play when the kids all go to bed and um, I'm sure Howard is going to really reminisce when he sees this as well. And this was £15 by the way. And the final item that I got were these regular fit open hem 
joggers, long length for Howard. Last year, I bought him a pair of jogging pants um, from M&S, which he does wear quite a lot, to be fair to him. But unfortunately, I bought them in a medium length and they were too short for Howard. So I went back to Next and I had a little look and I, I bought these instead. And these are long length, so I'm hoping that these fit him. Um, and yeah, I've just kept them in the packaging because I didn't want to get them out and ruin them. So yes, I'm sorry about the noise in the background through the whole way through this video, but I've got the dishwasher going and I forgot to undo it. I forgot to stop it while I was making this video. So I'm really sorry about that. I hope it hasn't disturbed you too much. But yes, that's everything I bought from Next. So that's everything that I've brought from Next and that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please feel free to leave any comments below. Have you been Christmas shopping yet and what have you brought? I'd love to know and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye.